these forest guards are demonstrating a particularly cruel device used by poachers. And this is generally, you know, almost uh, four feet deep. Why would they go to the trouble of, of building a trap like this? It looks pretty time consuming. Yeah, it's, it's definitely time consuming, but it's a silent killing of rhino. What, no sound of the, of the gunshot? Yeah, and since there is no gunshot, the forest department are not alerted. The fact the rhino bleeds to death doesn't bother the poachers, of course. They only need a small part of it, the horn. And it's more important to them than the survival of a two-ton animal. More they struggle, you know, more bloods are coming out, so ultimately they are having a very painful death. Yeah. Nasty. I don't think I'd fancy falling in there. Apart from the awesome beauty, the one thing that really strikes you about Kaziranga is its size. 800 square kilometres, that's about half the size of Surrey. Magnificent, but a nightmare to keep secure. <laughs> 300 frontline staff patrol the park, day and night, seven days a week. It's dangerous, relentless, and sometimes soul-destroying. We're on patrol right on the edge of the park, and uh, we've just got some news through that another rhino's been killed. When we were out in the park earlier on, I heard some gunshots. So that makes it five this month. The poachers are really up in their game and it's all getting a bit scary. There's no denying the forest guard's commitment. They just could do with a bit of help. The guards are supported by the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation, but there's only so much they can do. <laughs> These guys are out here night and day in all weathers walking around this park, and they need some decent boots to do it in. £10 will get them two pairs of decent boots. Just a tenner, that's all. Come on. Oh, Rod. Oh, Rod.